So what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, G-R-A-J-S-M-O. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to do more videos for you, for you. But it's tough, because I have like a bright idea while I'm sitting here on the couch, and I don't have everything all set up. So now, I'm trying to get everything all set up, watching some of my old videos. Yo, I do not know how to color correct. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, YouTube. I mean, I'm trying. <laughs> I've been putting out videos and try to do the thing, but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm no good at that kind of stuff. Um, but let me know what you guys think about some of my previous videos. Um, there's the uh, Peak Design bag, um, there's the Peak Design vlog test, uh, there's you know, me just walking around the neighborhood. But I'm saying all that to say this. Canon just came out and announced the R5 and the R6. The R5 is absolute overkill for anything that I would ever try to do. The R6 is still pretty much overkill for anything that I would try to do. So it makes me think, what should I get? Should I upgrade my camera? Because I hopefully I can get something that you know, offers a little bit more dynamic range, something that, um, you know, the audio interface is a little bit better, you know, maybe a headphone jack or something, I don't know. But what should I do, right? And then I said, well, what about that RP? The RP is, it's not half bad. I like the image that came out of it. It is lightweight and it still uses the same uh, LPE17 batteries that I have for my SL3. Now, some people don't like that, but I actually do. And for most of the videos that I shoot, they're in 1080. It's not a lot of, uh, you know, not a lot of stuff going on. YouTube compresses everything. Instagram compresses everything. So shoot it in 1080, upscale it to 4K, export it. People are gonna just be watching it uh, at the max quad HD, you know, 1440p uh, on their phones, if they have that, that kind of phone. Most phones are 1080 or like I said, quad HD. So it's not a big deal, but it's still something, you know, to think about. The other thing is the RP is still a full frame camera. Yes, it's entry level. No, there's no IBIS. Yes, there's a crop in 4K. Uh, you don't have dual pixel autofocus in 4K. There's a lot of different things. But let's not forget that the EOS R, which I mean, tons of YouTubers loved, is also going to be going on sale now that the R5 and the R6 are gonna be coming out. So what do you guys think um, would be a good upgrade from the SL3? Should I go R6? Should I go EOS R? Or should I just go budget and go RP? Leave your comments down below. Um, I'll go ahead and check them out as soon as I get around to it. Uh, this is your boy, G-R-A-J-S-M-O, and I'm at.